Let's use Green's theorem to compute an area. Back in Calculus 1, you study implicit differentiation, and one of the examples that you normally do uh, covers the folium of Descartes. Now, what you normally see is a Cartesian equation like this for our problem, x cubed plus y cubed minus 5xy equal to zero. Now, the standard folium has a coefficient here of minus 3a, x, y, where a is a constant. Well, with our negative 5 here, that would imply that our a would have to be 5 thirds. So we can actually write an equation for the asymptote for the folium, which is x plus y plus 5 thirds equals 0. And so now this dotted line here has an x and y intercept of negative 5 thirds. Now, in order to actually solve this problem, that is what I've done here, the actual petal of the folium is, is this shaded region. That is, this petal encloses a region that we're interested in determining area. So what we can do, and this is how the problem is presented, you can let t equal y over x and actually replace x and y with functions of t. And this is how the problem is presented to you. But I thought you'd like to see how the calculus one is actually an introduction to this problem. Now, what you can see here that for this particular curve here, we need t's to be non-negative. So the pedal will be traced when t runs from uh, zero to positive infinity. And so that's going to actually end up giving us an improper integral. But you're thinking, what integral? Well, this is where Green's theorem comes in. The idea is that we can take the m for our vector field to be negative y, and we can take the n for our vector field to be x. Of course, these are not uh, specific. They're arbitrary, but they turn out to be very useful. So now, when you take the partial of n with respect to x and subtract the partial of n with respect to y, you get a 2. So you get 2 times the area of the pedal, this double integral right here. And so you pay for it by just multiplic multiplication by 1 half. So now what we see is this is the opposite of what we normally do. We're not going to compute the area, the double integral. We're actually going to compute the line integral. So this 1 half times the integral x dy minus y dx will actually give us the area that's enclosed here. That is, the loop here, or the pedal area, will actually be this line integral. So that means that we just have to apply the standard definition. We don't have any shortcuts here. So when we actually do this line integral, we're going to need dy and dx. So let's go ahead and compute those first. So dy by definition is y prime dt. So we take the derivative of y. So we'll get a 10t times t cubed plus 1 minus 5t squared times 3t squared, and then of course square the denominator dt. And then of course here I factored a 5t out of both of these. This will leave a 2 behind to give us a 2t cubed plus a 2. And then here, well, let me not get rid of anything on the board. And then in this particular case, we extracted a 5t, so that's going to give us a negative t times a 3t squared, which is a negative 3t cubed. And now, of course, we can combine. This will give us a negative um, t cubed times a 5t will give us a negative 5t to the fourth. And then, of course, 5t times 2 gives us a 10t. And then, of course, we move the denominator over dt. So there's our dy. Again, very basic calculus one, but you just have to do the computation. And also here you see we need a dx. So dx by definition is x prime dt. So we're going to have 5 times t cubed plus 1 minus 5t times the derivative here, which is 3t squared, divided by the denominator squared dt. And then, of course, now there's a 5 in everything, so that's going to leave behind a t cubed plus 1. And then, of course, we'll have a minus 3t cubed. And now here, that'll give us a negative uh, 2 uh, t cubed times the 5 gives us a negative 10 t cubed. And then 5 times the 1 is the 5. Uh, bring the denominator over. And, of course, I left out my square. Let me put that in. And then we have 
this dt. So we've got the computation of dy and dx. Now we go to this. So, so, so what we're seeing is even though this problem is long, it's doable by Green's theorem. Without it, it would be difficult to compute. And so now we just fill in here. We have the one half, and now we need the x, which is 5t divided by tq plus 1 times dy, which we have here, 10t minus 5t to the fourth divided by tq plus 1 quantity squared minus, and now we have the y, 5t squared divided by tq plus 1 times, here we have dx in this box, 5 minus 10t cubed divided by tq plus 1 quantity squared. Now what you can see here, just to make the number smaller, we got a 5 in here and a 5 in here. We also have a 5 in here and a 5 in here. So we can extract that to get a 25 over 2. So now when we have the 5's gone, that'll be a t times a 2t to give us a 2t squared. And then we have a t times a negative t to the 4th to give us a negative t to the 5th. And now, of course, the 5's the are gone. So this is going to give us a negative t squared times 1 to give us a negative t squared. And then minus minus, that'll be a t squared times a 2t to the 3rd to give us 2t to the 5th. It's looking a whole lot better. So now when you look at this, we're going to get a t to the 5th and a t squared which we have here, and that's that's the key. Notice in green here, I factored the t squared here to give us t squared times t cubed plus one, and that's really nice because that's going to absorb one of the t cubed plus one in the denominator. So now what I'll do is I'll bring what's left upstairs, t cubed plus one to the negative two, and then of course the t squared here, I'll move over here, but of course, by the chain rule, I need a 3. I don't have the 3. Put in the 3 and pay for it. So that's all calculus 1. So this is table ready. So notice this will give us a 25 over 6. Add 1, divide by the new power. But the new power is negative 1. So when we divide by negative 1, we just have a negative 1 here. So we're going to do like the physicists and the engineers and, and do, the, do the cheap uh, improper integral eva evaluation. So now, of course, we'll factor the negative 25 over 6. As t tends to infinity, this uh, converges to 0. And then, of course, when we replace uh, t with 0, we just get the uh, minus 1. So we have the negative negative to give us 25 over 6. So this is indeed an elegant problem and not a simple problem. The, the idea is that, just like in all calculus courses, you build new structure and you see how you can actually conquer problems that were not available to you before. So I encourage you to go back to your Calculus 1 or go on Wikipedia and look at the folium of Descartes and now see that this is an actual transition to higher mathematics to give you an opportunity to actually to compute the area of this pedal. So it's almost like we're doing polar coordinates, but not quite, and we are done.